I was uh, looking at the comments of the video I uploaded most recently. Uh, it was an upload with Kyle and Renato. They own a marketing agency for salons. Essentially, they help salons get more clients. They help them uh, get more more revenue, right? And they do quite well. So they make over $400,000 a month doing that. And that was part of the title. And that was part of what we talked about in the video. It's like how they're doing so well in the marketing agency space and, and they're making so much money. And the funny thing was, I had people commenting, oh, that's impossible, bro. Like, uh, I don't believe this BS. No one's going to believe you, this. You're a scammer. And the funny thing is, everyone thinks this is like so out of reach, this 400K a month or, you know, whatever they're making. Like, they think they're, that's so crazy and out of reach. But when you talk to those guys who actually do it, like specifically Kyle and Renato, we spent like three weeks with them in Bali on vacation and fucking nice ass villas going to amazing dinners doing crazy excursions i mean we spent time with them and, and we're friends with them they're like yeah dude we, we don't even make that much money like their mindset's completely different than everyone else but it's because they're elevated because they have a different mindset and they are able to see much more than the average person they have a they have a higher standard for themselves but they're also more open-minded kevin's fucking cooking right now it's good yeah, what's good? So, um, but no, it's hilarious because so many people are small minded, and the guys who actually are making all this money, they're they're so open minded, and they're and they they have high standards for themselves. And so many people, that's the that's the problem. They've never seen any real results. They've never seen anything like go well for them just because they haven't had a good mindset, right? They haven't had a, a mindset of oh, I actually can do this, and four hundred k is not a, out of the reach at all. You know, like like for us. We're at probably close to 100k a month right now, and we we see 400k a month is like that's good, obviously. You know, like we we respect anyone who does that, but like that's not crazy at all, bro. Like it's like not out of reach for us. That's a few months away, you know. So it's like you got to stay open minded. But another thing I wanted to talk about specifically was the agency versus e commerce debate. You know, Imangaji kind of got me into the agency space early on. So I was in the agency space like two, three years ago because I wanted to start one. And most people do start one because they want to make money with no money. And I never successfully launched one. Well, I had one, but it wasn't really like, I didn't get clients and it wasn't that good. So it wasn't really like a business, but I ended up going to build a, a very successful e-commerce business, multiple of them that are worth probably millions at this point. Um, I built e-commerce businesses on Amazon and now I actually own an agency as well. Not like, like helping small businesses achieve X revenue. And no, we, we basically, basically help people build, build Amazon businesses. That's what we do. Kevin used to build, or no, you used to do ads for, for, Sorry, I'm for, muted. I'm cooking for, yeah, he's cooking steak. a steak. Um, you used to do yeah, ads for like dentists or whatever agencies. and YouTube uh, and stuff. Dental one, a YouTube one. Um, and then like the most popular one was like the roofing and solar guys. Pretty yeah, easy and to start an agency, but it's a fucking lot of work. It's always working, always working. Yeah, so and, you 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 started Amazon though, and what do you prefer now? Now that you've done both and you actually run both, so we run an agency together, guys. If you if you don't know, and we also have e-commerce businesses together. We run an agency now because. We want to teach people how to not run an agency or just not to run an agency. Yeah. You know, like SMA is huge. Been there, done that. Like our friends make like, like uh, Scott was just saying, making over like 400 K a month. Really though. Um, it's not like, it's not a fun life. You make a lot of money, but you got to work a lot. And I say fun, like they, they work way less than a normal person. But like for us, if we just wanted our products to chill and make money for us, if we could, like we got to work two hours a month, not a week. And um, it's way more passive. So uh, a lot of these guys that are like agency owners, they make good money, but you know, money and time are like two completely different things. So, you know, a lot of them have money and we're, you know, we're teaching people like that. We're teaching people, you know, like who are stuck in that corporate grind, still making money, but trading their time for money versus, you know, the opposite and um, people like that. Yeah. And uh, anyone just looking to make a passive income, but especially like the agency guys, we're not gonna do this for that long. We're gonna do this for like two years, you know, just show it to people and then go back to just doing more Amazon. 
we're still doing well, the problem is with yeah. most people is they have a miss uh they have a miss kind of connection between time and money right so they don't understand that having a lot of money but no time literally sucks just because they have no money right like just because you want money does not mean you should sacrifice your freedom for it because once you get money you'll realize like holy fuck time is way more valuable and, and like life status of or not status of life but quality of life is way more valuable so like we run amazon businesses and, and we run agency agency probably takes 90 percent of our time guys like literally 90 percent but our amazon businesses we can turn them on basically autopilot and and check it and run maybe work a few hours a month so it's it's like we've done both physically and we still do both physically in the flesh we do it real life it is not worth running an agency or any service type business because you are constantly in a loop you're always in a loop of i need more clients i need more clients i need more clients and then it's fulfilling for those clients because you have no retention in the agency model like the the churn rate is crazy anyways so you're have going to always have to be searching and plus you're you're never really building brand equity with an agency could you sell it yeah but it's like you know, you never really get to build anything that you can have passively. The thing with e-commerce is that once you build a brand, it really runs pretty, pretty passively, at least with Amazon. And the thing with our agency is like, it takes so much time and it has so much operational friction for us. It's like, it's just a big stressor. Like, like Kevin said, we're probably going to run this shit for like two years max. Just collect a Every fucking, agency is like that. Just collect Every millions and, and just, and just reinvest it all back into Amazon and just fucking chill. Like that's literally what our plan was before we even started recording. We were just talking about like how we're out, bro. We're, we're getting out fast, get rich and get the fuck out. Like, and we're going to just, that's reinvest. what everyone else is going to do that we're teaching, bro. Not to interrupt, but like our, all the guys we're teaching doing yeah. the same shit. You know, yeah. they're, they're, they're going to get into their, their agencies or their current jobs that they make a bunch of cash and, and leave like agencies are dope because you make cash, but you're fucking you work like a dog versus, you know, the opposite with, with Amazon. Teach everyone yeah, how to do the same shit. We're just running an agency teaching people that because we realized it and we're doing it now. Yeah, I mean, we just collect a fuck ton of cash at the agency. We also get to, to share, we get to help people, but we also get to share, don't run a damn agency. Like, literally don't do it because it's not worth it. I mean, for us, it's, uh, us, it's worth it, but for the average person, bro, it's not worth it. Like, there's so many different ways you can make money and it you can be so much more leveraged. Amazon's just much more leverage. I mean, no, no one's competing, bro. Like our our infrastructure, I'm not I'm not flexing. It's just the fact. Like people try doing the same thing we do, but they don't have the sourcing team that we have overseas. They don't have the design infrastructure behind us to literally do things in hours. Um, they don't have all the connections and networking that we have to to get products moving like as fast as we do. So since we have the ability to do it. Too many products for us to launch ourselves. We can do multiple products per month. Uh, ourselves is just a lot in general. Like anyone knows that. It's just being straight up. So why not help other people do it? Exactly. I mean, yeah, we, we found the right people, bro. Yeah. We got the right team. It's like people think that there's a bunch of hard work, and then sixty percent hard work, thirty percent luck, or whatever it is. Shout out <laughs> that adds up to ninety yeah. percent. Yeah. No, then the other 10% <laughs> is, you know, people, you know, network, whatever, but yeah, whatever his, his breakdown was, but you know, we, we had a lot of luck meeting the right people straight we up, did. but we, we got the team, bro. But all the, all the luck comes from the hard work. That's what people don't want to understand. It just comes from the fucking grind. Um, and I think you need a lot more connections to make shit work than most people think. It's it's more of like people think they can just take on the world themselves, bro. No, you're how are like for Amazon, how are you getting your shit shipped? Are you gonna are you gonna go over on your own boat and, and pick that shit up from China? No, dumbass. No, are you gonna clear it through customs by yourself? No, you're you're stupid. No, you're not gonna fucking make the designs yourself. You're, you're not your your buddy from high school who knows how to use Photoshop's not gonna do it. You're, I mean, he's not gonna take the photos with his fucking his his little Sony camera either. Like, it, there's so many different things you need a players for, and that's why agency is actually valuable for us is because we got to collect uh, a network of really really um, crazy fucking talented people. That's that's one thing it, it benefited for us, but we actually get to help people with that so we get to to almost license that out to other people 
uh, in exchange for money for us. But we also, when we're done running the agency, we'll probably keep all of our employees, or at least a lot of them, because we can just, we just, you know, kind of put them in our Amazon businesses. Like a lot of them can just transfer over, you know, like all of our, our guys on fulfillment can just transfer over, you know, like our, our design, our full design team will just work for us full time. When we're launching multiple products a month, our, our account managers will just work for us full time. Our GM will work for us full time. Our media buyer full time. Everyone will just stay on and, and just keep running the Amazon businesses. And we'll just, you know, just kind of ditch the agency once, Bro, once we don't need to do it. As an employee, like a label ever employee, what other other uh, company, like what other employees from a different company can say that they not only obviously have like a pretty good job, but they have equity in different things. So like we we're, mm. when we say like we're done in like two years, probably three years, it's for real because we're teaching our employees how to do the same shit. And some yeah, of them are like, your own brands. Some of them are like huge. So like that they're locked in they're locked in for us for quite a while with us. But like after that, you know, I wouldn't keep working for us if I were them. They're gonna have their own products, their own brands. Yeah, we you say know, like, they, they're gonna keep working for us, but bro. they'll probably end up making too much money and leaving us. So that's oh, yeah, gonna be the reality. Sense. That's the goal, bro. It's everyone eats. You know, yeah. right now we know how to do Amazon, they can do the other steps. But eventually they're gonna learn. But for anyone watching and interested, don't be like, oh, I'll wait until I save up, you know, in two years from now, three years from now, maybe I'll do it or some bullshit. Like, time is, like, speed, always number one. You know, we're not going to be off. We were just telling our team And our price keeps going up. Well, yeah, we were just, Uh, our price keeps going up every single fucking month month at this point. Like, it's it's like going up by a, a high percentage every month. But speed is probably the most important thing. We were just telling, we just had a team meeting yesterday and we're saying, guys, we don't like like here's our order for for importance it is number one speed number two is um what it what is it it's not it's not number one speed it is number one no, speed number number two, one is communication number two is speed number three is quality but so for anyone is always key for any relationship yeah. speed get there as quick as possible you make your mistakes quicker you face your adversities faster you get done with all the bullshit because once you make a mistake, you know what the answer is. You know, like if I go left into that end, the right way is gonna be the next way I gotta go. And the faster so, you drive down that fucking road, the faster you can turn around. Fast as fuck. Exactly. Yeah. And then our guys, yeah, like our guys are fire. Sometimes they 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 fuck up, you know, in different aspects. But they fuck up, we learn, we move it. The quality is always third. So qual- like example, exactly what we're talking about is design. You know, like. We'll give them like a rough idea just to start getting ideas out instead of giving them exactly what we want because no one's ever going to be able to, you know, make your image in one go, no matter how much detail you get. So for them, we care about them just getting a bunch of ideas out and then we start narrowing it down and getting more sub-niching, like if you're first of all talking like SMMA terms and getting mm-hmm. smaller and smaller. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, the speed is probably Fast the most though. important. Speed is probably, I would say, like, because like that's our team. You know, we need communication. But for you guys, fuck communication because whatever. Speed, then quality. That's like probably the the top two. Because uh, we were just talking to some kid the other day, and he and he has like an Amazon wholesale business. It's it's he's doing pretty good numbers, but you know, it's it's not a sustainable business, and he knows that. And he's like, yeah, I'll start after after Q4, you know, I, I, I will have more time and, you know, I'll, I'll invest a little more time and money. That, bro, sleep less, bro. Fucking sleep less because guess what? You're going to wait three months and you're going to realize like, oh, I just wasted three months of, of learning and experience and time and making money with Amazon private label. I've I've never heard someone say they regret starting early. It's always I regret starting late. So why not start literally as soon as you can? As soon as you have the money, why don't you start? Not not just oh I want to save up a little bit more money, or I want to I want to have a little bit more time for my job or my my current business, bro. You're, it's never going to be perfect. It is literally never going to be the perfect time. And when it is it feels like the perfect time, the opportunity's already passed. So it, that's the biggest thing. It's actually just taking action. Uh, in your life it's, it's not like oh well I, wanna, I might start next month or i might start in a few months bro if you have the cash if you have like 10 to 15 grand saved fucking start that shit now today you gotta be you gotta be starting today because every like when we start 
something or we have an idea that comes into our head and there's a lot of people who work like this and all those people make a lot of fucking money whenever an idea comes in our head we start it the same day we had us we had a fucking an idea for an offer one of our 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 mentors told us the other day he's like yo we think you could run this offer um print you know a few hundred grand a month with it and and we're like uh yeah, we'll do it. So we, so we pivoted from our current offer and we're creating a new offer and we're going to have it done in like two or three days. So it's just speed, bro, because the faster you work, the faster you get results. Sport, I was just listening to a video by uh, Robert, Robert from Shark Tank. He's a pretty smart guy. And he was saying things I learned from Mark Cuban. He's a billionaire. And he's like, Mark Cuban said once that sport or, um, business is the most competitive sport. It's not soccer. It's not football. It's not basketball. Whatever you think, it is business. Business is moving 24-7, 365. There's no other sport that does that. But business is literally running around the clock, around the world, no matter what time of the day it is. So every second you're waiting or every every uh, day you're putting shit off is, is just a day you're getting lapped, bro. You're getting fucking lapped. So as the world gets more competitive, because it is getting more competitive, it is growing increasingly more important to, it's growing more important to to start today. And I don't know where Kevin went, bro. He must have just went to eat that shit. He, he must be hungry. He's like eating 24 this. ounces of steak, bro. I'm That's crazy, bro. I'm hungry. I might make one myself. I might have to run to the store. But um, yeah, you guys, it, it's... It's something that you guys need to learn. It's just stop being a fucking pussy. Like, uh, I'm not saying that to be like polarizing, but genuinely, I mean it. That's the only way some of you guys fucking listen. Just stop being a pussy. Stop thinking things are impossible because believe it or not, $400,000 a month or $500,000 a month, our mentors do that and our friends do that. And they're like, oh, well, I I'm I had, a, I had a bad month. I only did 400K. 500K, I only did I, that. People think, what you think is impossible, people are thinking that's a bad month. Guys who made a hundred thousand dollars today, there's guys who made a hundred grand every day. They're like, I had a bad day today. I only made a hundred grand, and you can and you can make that in a year. But it's it's by the way you think. Okay, it's what you think is possible. What you think is impossible because what you think is impossible, you're never going to achieve. Okay, so you you got to open up your horizons. It's just as simple as that. And and start aiming for bigger goals because once you start for aiming for bigger bigger goals, you'll start adjusting the vehicle you're in. That's why so many people get stuck on SMA. That's why so many people get stuck with these little small business models is because and I and I I got I was stuck in that too for a while. Like Kevin was too. Everyone gets stuck in it. But the reason people get stuck in those little business models is because they're focused on how can I fucking make 10k this month, bro. 10k. We were just talking about it. Kevin and I literally make it a goal in, in the next like year for us to have 15K each in car payments a month. Each. So we're spending as a business 30K a month on cars. Like we're going to have a million dollars worth of cars each. That's the goal in, in the next co couple of years for sure. So and like, and you're trying to make that a month. So it's just like open your fucking horizon because you can always think bigger. You can always do shit bigger, but always uh, move with speed. Speed fixes quality typically. So any last words, Kevin? I'll give you guys a great example. We're just going to be honest again. This video that Scott uploaded um, yesterday, it was like not even 24 hours since it's been up, about uh, you know the podcast with Kyle Renato. I was there sitting for it for like a decent amount in Bali. But um, behind the, behind the camera, yeah. Yeah, I was a guy in the beginning. And... Um, yeah, but I, I only saw, like, I like, heard half of it. So um, I was watching it again yesterday, and I had, like, thoughts on it, but we hadn't really talked until today. I'm, like, visiting right now. I'm uh, traveling. So we are talking about it on Zoom, and I'm like, dude, it's crazy. Like, we never really thought about, like, you know, fuck, like, you know, getting anyone to do this. Like, let's get all the SMA guys to do it because that's the exact same route I took. That's basically the same route Scott took. Yeah. His first yeah. agency though is is fucking an Amazon agency. So um, my first different. one that worked, but, yeah, for sure. Like that, yeah, I even that got worked. paid for. I had like an old Am or an old like Emangaji Facebook ads for fucking local businesses. Never got yeah. any clients, but um, yeah, my first agency is Amazon. And we're running this but shit together. Weave it together now. 
It's because now we're on this video, literally 20 minutes before we started and we pressed play here, we were just talking about that. And I was like, oh yeah, bro, like it got me thinking about this. And we're like, oh, we should shoot a video. Okay, done. I'm fucking cooking a steak. Come on. I didn't go sit down and like get ready. No, I threw a hat on, bro. I was wearing some, my hair is fucked. Threw a hat on, <laughs> took a piss, dead ass, and we just started the video. So it's, um, yeah, it, you just see the shit, like people who actually make money do with, like, it's just speed, bro. It is simply, it's simply how, how efficient can you be? I think Iman Gaji even said it. It was actually kind of insightful. He said, he's like, I'm too broke to drive because he lives in like Dubai and, and the traffic's cooked. So, so he's like, yeah, dude, I, I don't have enough money to drive. I don't have enough money to sit in traffic myself. So I got to have a driver because it makes me more money so I can work all the time, bro. I just I start thinking I got to be efficient. I just got to move fast. I just got to get shit done. I, I got to not be scared to break things. I think being scared to break things and being scared to fail actually holds you back more than failing itself. I think that's, that's the number one uh, thing holding people back is they're scared to make mistakes, but mistakes actually make you, they may, it takes you uh, further and it makes you uh, achieve things faster. You know? So like I, I have shit, I have costly mistakes I'm making this month. I won't say exactly what, but I like one of my businesses uh, is so obviously turning a big profit, but we, we uh, had a, a, a loss of $8,000 on one little fuck up that we made uh, one of my other businesses, not label leverage, but it was stupid. And it's something I'll never make a mistake on again. So it's something you like, you just make mistakes to fucking fast track learning. But the thing is you don't have to make mistakes. Like it, that's the thing the right guidance avoids a lot of mistakes. So that's the, that's why we actively are probably spending six figures in the next year just for mentorship and just for extending our knowledge and our skill set and our network. All right. So you're not above it. Let me say that. No one's above further education. No one's above mentorship because our friends, Kyle and Renato in that, in that uh, video, and you can go watch it. They, they spend multiple six figures a year on on education on programs on networking events they spend a lot of money trying to grow themselves but that's why they're in the position they're in okay so it's important that you invest in yourself as well um right now we do have a done for you amazon private label uh, offer that we're running i don't know how long we're running it uh in the future it is it is uh you know, like i said we're changing offers a little bit but it is a very very popular offer it just causes it causes us a lot of operational friction because it's very very bespoke. So it's very custom. We're building you a business done for you. You're just the investor, and, and you uh, and we build and manage. So, um, you, you can make money completely passively. You're just in the investor, and and you know you can have an Amazon brand completely built for you. So if you have any uh capital, you know that you're willing to invest, uh, you I would say thirty thousand dollars is a good number uh, liquid to, if you have that, you, you might be available to, or you might be, uh, able to apply to do that. I would say if you have that, you can go to the second link down below and you can apply to, uh, join the D done for you program. Uh, we can't accept everyone obviously. And that's why there is a, a, there is a wait list. So you can go to the second link down below, fill out the form and my team will be in touch if things uh, look correct. But uh, yeah, that's that's what we do for people right now. We're changing our offer up a little bit. We'll still be probably running it a little bit. We're going to decrease the amount of people we take on a month uh, to very, very low numbers just so we can focus on this new offer and our Amazon businesses. Um, so yeah, yeah. if you want to do that, I think uh, you won't regret it, right? Because what, what are current investments getting you? Fucking 5 10% a year? That's inflation. You're literally breaking even, right? So your investments need to be able to be active, if that makes sense. You need to be able to have active income investments you need to be able to make active numbers you make the most money you make the most return on active investments but the thing is you don't want the active work that comes worth it so that's why we created the done for you program it's so people can get active income returns hundreds or thousands of percents a year without doing a single bit of work so it's it, it is literally a no-brainer so if you would like, uh, go to the second link down below fill out the application and someone will be in touch if it makes sense but uh yeah, Kev, any uh, final words before we sign off? Invest. Invest, invest, Have invest. Nice Have a nice Sunday. See you guys in the next video. Subscribe. Peace.